Welcome to Pale Rider TV. We got the flatbed market report we're going to go over today. This is from DAT Freight and Analytics. I did the drive in market report yesterday. So if you want to check that out, here's the link to click on that. So let's get into this. The Montgomery, Alabama flatbed market only just missed out on the number one spot last week to Houston. Houston was big in the drive-in market report. Volumes were up 4%, helping push up spot rates for the fourth week by 22 cents a mile to $2.78 a mile. Loads to Lakeland at $2.94 a mile are at $0.04 cents a mile higher than the previous years, while shorter haul loads to Jacksonville at $2.59 a mile were $0.23 cents a mile higher than the January averages. Now, let me put this disclaimer in here real quick. Our rates cited below exclude fuel surcharges unless otherwise noted. All right, let's continue. In Houston, load posts were up by 18%, resulting in spot rates increasing by $0.08 cents a mile to $2.30 a mile for outbound loads. High volume lanes included Lubbock and Laredo. Yeah, I'd spend a lot of time in Laredo. Know about the Laredo market. Where there was sufficient available capacity to meet demand, resulting in lower rates on each lane. Loads to Lubbock in the Permian Basin oil field were at a 12 month low of $2.55 a mile. While loads to Laredo Dropped under $2 a mile for the first time in 12 months. That's crazy. In the Pacific Northwest, there was a surge in volume following Portland's 77% increase in load posts. Outbound spot rates jumped by 33 cents a mile to an average of $2.58 a mile with capacity tight on the shore haul lanes north to Seattle. Spot rates on this lane at $832 a load or $4.90 a mile are the highest since last June and $100 a load higher than the previous year. Load 630 miles south to Stockton were paying $2.31 a mile, which was around 20 cents lower than last month's average. Load to truck ratio. Flatbed load post increased for the third week following last week's 5% gain and are on track to follow prior year's seasonal increase through spring. Volumes are still 30% lower than the six year average for week eight and just over half excuse me, week six and just over half what they were in 2018. Carrier equipment posts remained at their highest level in seven years and around 10% higher than in 2020 following last week's 3% increase. More load and equipment posts resulted in the load to truck ratio increasing slightly from 13 04 to 1320. Yeah, flatbed line house spot rates increased for the third week following last week's penny per mile gain. At two dollars and ten cents a mile, flatbed rates are six cents a mile higher than in twenty eighteen, and that year's flatbed rate rally was just getting started. Last week Two dollars and nine cents a mile national average was fifty-eight cents a mile lower than the previous year. So that's it for the flatbed spot market report. Sounds like the Pacific Northwest is where you want to be right now. Even pretty good as far as per mile, per load, all that other stuff. So let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Like I said, I did the drive-in report yesterday, flatbed report today. And um, 
if you are interested in me doing these more often, let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know about your flatbed rates. Have you seen any change going up, going down, whatever? So I appreciate everybody watching. Everybody have a good day. Stay safe.